with Glam Lights Icing in color Buttercream. I'm gonna get started with these three, which are kind of my favorites from Glam Light and Michaela collection. I'm gonna go into this beautiful green called Grass, and this green is going to go over here. I'm now gonna pick a small brush, this is a BH. Let's go into this one, Night Flutter. This is gonna go into our outer V area, and yes, we're gonna put shimmers in our outer V. And I'm wondering if I should just do this with my fingers because, yeah, let's do it with the finger. I'm just gonna put it on. I'm gonna clean this part up because I'm right-handed, so I don't have as much control as my left hand, but not that bad now i am going to pick a small brush this one is blend bunny number four i want to go into this purple one i've used this before i'm going to diffuse the color on my hand a little bit but i want to kind of brush it alongside this and add a little bit of pink to this look now the thing about magenta is that it's not gonna be a problem with the purple obviously i can kind of blend the edges let's make sure it doesn't go into the green because then it could kind of muddy up with the same brush i'm going to go into blue morpho again i'm going to diffuse the color on my hand and i'm just blending this outer edge to make sure it's blending into my skin i'm now using a tiny cotton round and cleaning up any fat finger action or anything because you know when i use my finger it I have long nails and I also have chubby fingers so it gets outside of where my eyes are. Okay, now I'm going to get a small brush. Let's go with this one. Beauties! This one is one of the ones I bought from Miss A store for $1. In the video that I did about what I purchased from Miss A store, I'll put the video below. I mentioned that if I ever use these, because at that point in time I hadn't washed these brushes, so I mentioned when I use them I'm going to call out that I'm using a Miss A brush. So this is a Miss A brush. I'm going to go into this Midnight Rain again. We're going to go under my lower lash line. I have, I don't know how, some glitter in my nose. How did that happen? I have gotten glitter everywhere so far, but in my nose. I'm going to use this brush again and really use it to diffuse this color and smudge it. I did another video talking about these Blend Bunny brushes and brushes in general. So I like the small headed ones for lower lash line work. I'm now going to go into Larvae, this beautiful wet looking pink. And this is going right here. Just blending a little bit of it into the green. Okay, beauties, let's now go into, this is another from Miss A store. I'm not going to go into this beautiful color called Galliath Birdwing. And this beautiful color is going here. Okay, friends, I'm loving this. Let me put on some lipstick. I'll be right back. Okay, beauties, I put a little bit of this old ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Starling on my lips. This is the old formulation. I, st I have the new formulation as well, but I have the old formulation, so I figured I should use these. But uh, the new formulation, from what I recall, is a little more coral. That's why I like the old formulation. It's a little more neutral colored. I'm loving this look, beauties. I hadn't used this palette a lot. I think I only used it twice before. And one of the looks that I did, I actually did a video with for one of my to buy or not to buys. I'll find the video put in the description box below. But I wanted to use this palette just in case somebody wanted to purchase it and was wondering what kind of looks to make with it. I mean, I feel like this is a very legit look. I like this palette. It's a very nice palette. So if you like these kinds of extraordinary, very colorful looks, I mean, you don't have to do this much color. You can go a little bit more conservative, but this is a great palette for colorful looks in general. I have multiple palettes from Mika Beauty Shop. I already have a review with the palette they did with 
Marta from Marta's Makeup. I already have that review in the channel. I'll also link it in the description box below if you're curious. I've also done some looks with their Peacock Feathers palette on my Instagram. And I overall have always had pretty good experience with this brand and the truth is I can't say that about every brand. The mattes are pretty pigmented, you know, with earlier stage brands a lot of times I have seen the mattes being a little bit fine milled, fly away, not a lot of color payoff, requiring to pack, do multiple layering and things like that and I did not have that experience with this palette. I also don't remember having that kind of experience with Mecca Beauty Shop's other palettes. One thing to keep in mind is that some of their shimmers are thin layered shimmers. So it's the kind of shimmers that if you put on your skin, you can probably see your skin color from under it. So it's going to give a different payoff on my skin tone versus, you know, if you have deeper skin tone or if you have lighter skin tone than me, which means that it's going to give you a different kind of payoff over different kind of base colors as well. So if you use them over black base, you're probably gonna get a different effect. And I can say that at least for this shimmer, for this one, this is obviously an iridescent color. This one was pretty opaque. You can see it in my inner corner. This one was pretty opaque. This looks like a black base multichrome. I don't know if you can see the shifts. From the angle I'm looking at, I see green and I think you all are seeing pink. I do also see from some angles kind of a bronze, bronze shift. So. This is definitely a multichrome and um, definitely an opaque color. But other than that, you know, some of the shades are not fully opaque. I personally like to use thin shimmers and opaque shimmers for different kind of applications. For example, I use the thin shimmer over half purple, half green, and it's kind of giving a different kind of effect. Uh, whereas I use the opaque shimmer in my outer V, the dark purple. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I put Go Big or Go Home, this tester I got from Sephora some time ago. Uh, I use this also on my lashes. So you're probably going to see that when I bring the camera closer. Okay, beauties, going into this palette again, I already primed my eyes with Eye Prep Eye Prime from Juvia's. This is shade number two. I'm going to use some Morphe brushes. I'm going to use Fabus. I don't know how to say the name. And this beauty is going all across my crease. In case you're curious, this is Morphe M332. I'm now going to pick... Morphe E17 and I'm gonna go into this one green hair streak this color is going into my outer V area and then I'm going to just bring it under my lower lash line this is such a nice color I like that although this color does not have really any fall off on my fa face miraculously it has a lot of kick up I'm now using a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going into Papillon, which in French means butterfly. And it's going to go over here. I love this color. You all know I love the whole pink to gold shift. There's a gold shift there, and then it blends into the rest of the eye look. Let's also now try this color, Lover. To test it out in my inner corner I have no idea what shift this is gonna have so we'll we're in it for a surprise I figured it's either pink or green and either would be okay with this look so this is kind of chunky just FYI and interestingly the pink shift is kind of cool toned but it also has a green shift so interesting shifts let me go put a lipstick on I'll be right back is complete i also put this ultra matte lip this is the new formulation from color pop and color tulum i don't think they used to have tulum anyway i think the tulum is a new color i was expecting it to be a little more coral as you can see in the tube but it ended up being a little bit more red 
but it's fine. I think it still goes with the look and I'm kind of enjoying this. I like this palette. I do feel that it could be having maybe at least one more dark matte. The darkest matte in this palette, I mean, is the green or is this color, so that's not enough. And I feel like maybe you're having a little bit too much of pink. You could remove one of the pink magentas and replace it with a dark matte, maybe a dark blue would have worked because then it would give you a lot more variety in what you could do. Some of the colors I mentioned already have a little bit of kick up, so keep that in mind. This color had a lot of kick up. I mean, I think the payoff was good, but otherwise every other color that I used, I really, really liked. I loved this color. Just look at how it shifts from coral to gold. And then this one is one of those amazingly delicious wet looking colors this one was okay a little bit chunky and this one oof, very nice yeah i i very much like this palette a lot more than i thought i would i would be curious to know if you all purchased this palette from mika beauty and what you all are thinking or maybe you picked up something else from mika beauty and if you have any particular opinions i would love to hear from you in the comments below don't forget to write to me in the comments below which one of the two looks you enjoyed more I love you all. Have an amazing day and until next time. Bye.